Craven, the acknowledged modern master of horror and the creator of A Nightmare on Elm Street and Freddy Krueger, returns to the screen with perhaps his most frightening creation yet in Shocker. The name of our villain is Horace Pinker, and Horace Pinker is designed to retire Freddy Krueger. Saving it. So I was looking for a, a creation of a new character that would be just as exciting, more exciting than Freddy. And uh, I wanted to have him occupy a world that was similar to Freddy's dream world, that was just as par powerful, just as pervasive, and just as familiar in its own strange way. And of course, it was television itself. Television is the daytime dreaming of our nation. So I thought, who is the Freddy Krueger of, of that state? So I invented Horace Pinker. He's able to travel over the transmission lines of television. He's able to come out of one television set, recede into it, go into it, and come out in another one in another house, another locale. But despite his seemingly invincible powers, Pinker faces a first-rate opponent in the form of Jonathan Parker, played by up-and-coming star Peter Berg. My character is a very, very tough young man. He doesn't enjoy seeing people that he loves killed, but there is a certain sense of satisfaction in personally taking on this man and personally challenging him and not needing anyone else but, but himself and his own athletic abilities to fight this guy. It's a non-stop action film. I mean, I think Peter Berg had three days off out of a, about a 61-day shoot. No! Somehow, uh, Peter's character is able to, in his dreams, enter Horace Pinker's murders. So he's actually there as they take place, and when he wakes up, he has actually witnessed a murder. Get him out of here! Come on! And uh, as the story unfolds, we find out that there's a very strong indication that Horace Pinker might be um, Jonathan Parker's actual father. I was beating you real good when your mama tried to stop me with that gun that she brought into our happy home. Horror films are very strong when they deal with the family because I've, I've always felt that the, you know, personally for all of us, the most terrifying things were in the first five years of life. Fears that your parents are really uh, violent. Like father, like son, huh? Jonathan doesn't need a lot of people in his life. He takes what he needs from the people around him that he loves. One of the people Jonathan relies on for help is his girlfriend, Allison, played by Cammie Cooper. When I come to uh, devising the female characters in my pieces, I always make them very strong. And uh, Cammie's character was interesting to me because I knocked her off very early. And um, it's, it's fun to do that to an audience because they think they, they know somebody and suddenly they're dead. And then I say, well, you know, in Wes Craven films, nobody's totally dead. In addition to his girlfriend, Pinker kills all of Jonathan's adopted family, except for his policeman's stepfather, played by Michael Murphy. I play a police lieutenant in a small town in Ohio, Maryville, Ohio. Very early in the picture, his entire family, with the exception of one stepson, is uh, wiped out. There's been this rash of killings. I dreamt of the murders, Doc. Just the way they happened. Uh, he, he becomes a believer over the course of the film, you know, and then, and then by then it's, it's almost too late. That's the scariest part about making a horror film, because I know by now that if you don't find the villain that is really going to scare everybody's socks off, you might as well never go out and shoot the film. That's the scary thing about it. You never know whether that person is really out there. And finally, Mitch Pelleggi walked in the room, and we all just went, whoa. I think this is a character that I wanted to do for a long time. I think that one of the things that, about him that, is, that hopefully is terrifying is the fact that he is a real person. You know, he is a killer, and there are people like that. Well, I, I think the thing about the Shocker, uh, to be foremost in people's minds, is that it's, by and large, is a great roller coaster ride. It's going to be a very popular film. Uh, I think Horace Pinker is going to take his place right up there with Freddy as, uh, as one of the scariest innovative people around in the pantheon of horror. No more Mr. Nice Guy. <laughs>